Environment and the power it has over us is, is so important and it's important that you and I start focusing on it if you aren't doing that already. It's, um, it's something that has an enormous influence over your results uh, more than we actually think that it has. So did you know that your results today are actually an expression in most cases of other people's habitual thinking? That's right. It's kind of crazy to think about, isn't it? That your results aren't your results. <laughs> I mean, they're yours, but they're an expression, not of your way of thinking, but um, in most cases of other people's habitual way of thinking. And so when did that start? It started when we were little kids, right? Um, and, uh, you know, the environment that we grew up in um, just had an enormous influence over us. Our subjective mind at that time was wide open. So anything that went on around us, uh, behavioral patterns, beliefs, political views, prejudices, all of that stuff went right into our subjective mind and formed the, the way we, you know, think and, and look at the world. And so we grow older and we develop the conscious mind. But at that point in time, the damage has already been done. And so, so today, you know, we're still moving around and we're still making choices based on that old programming and not necessarily um, based on what we really want. How often do you find yourself in dialogues with friends, family, acquaintances, and they express their paradigms without being aware of it? And if we aren't aware of it, our subjective mind will be wide open and, uh, and then the, their beliefs will be just dumped right into our mind. Um, it, it goes with everything, pretty much. So what I would encourage you to do um, today, something that I do continuously, it's um, evaluating my environment, who I spend time with, and I make conscious decisions about spending sometimes less, cert less time with certain people than others, because I know that they haven't made an effort out of changing those paradigms, and because they haven't, I can't allow their way of thinking to influence mine. You know, it's, it's amazing to me, you know, people who are just, they're so unconscious about this. They, they, will, they will sit at a restaurant or a coffee shop and then they will um, look at how to save a dollar here and a save, what is, where is their focus? Their focus is on downscaling. Their focus is in saving because they're operating with a lack mentality and they don't know it. It's a subjective program. It's not conscious. You know, brilliant people doing this. They can be really smart. They can have high IQs. They've, done all the educations but they're still operating with that lack mentality and guess what's going to give them their result that lack mentality you know so it's uh, it's something we should all pay a respectable amount of attention to what i would encourage you to do today something as i said that i do continuously and it is to evaluate uh, my environment and i don't judge people we have no right to do that right but you should definitely make a list of 10 you know people that you hang out with the most and business associates friends family and then you go through the list and you just ask yourself, do these people entertain big ideas or are they upward bound thinking? Let's make sure that we start looking at things, conditions, circumstances, prices, etc. And from a neutral point of view, it, it just is. There is no big or small, expensive, inexpensive. It's just the way we look at it. So what I would encourage you to do is make that list of people, 10 people. 12 maybe, that you surround yourself with most of the time. And then you go through the list and you ask yourself, do they entertain big ideas? Do they see the limitless potential in all situations? Uh, are they upward bound thinkers? Do they believe in uh, impossible uh, results? Are they going for them or are they just talking about them? And then just, you just make a conscious choice based on that. You make that list, you go through it, and then you make a decision. You know, there might be some people on that list you have to spend less time with and maybe you don't spend that much time with them at a time. Maybe you give them half an hour every week and you're aware of it and you just make that decision before you go see them, before you sit down, the decision has been made because you realize you cannot afford to let yourself influence uh, by their way of thinking. Because, you know, let's, let's look at it objectively. Do we want their results? Maybe, maybe we don't. If we don't want their results, we definitely cannot afford to listen to them too much, which is what we're programmed to do. We're programmed to seek approval from our environment, which is one of the most unhealthy ways to live. Education, education, coaching, developing your mind, 
Um, that is not ex expensive at all. Uh, but ignorance is extremely expensive. That definitely can cost you uh, your dream. And a lot of people are extremely ignorant uh, about the way their mind works. And because of that, they continuously get the same results, mostly the results that their environment is getting. And so this is one thing we should pay a respectable amount of attention to on this beautiful Sunday. I'm just going to flick the camera here. As you can tell, there's a jet ski. I don't know jet ski competition here or something Wait. <laughs> so uh, so let me know uh, if you can relate to this um, drop me a line in the comment section tag a friend uh, or acquaintance or business associate that inspires you that cause you to think upward bound and not downward because that is not a healthy place to live